Hey, what's up you guys? Shardness Prime here, doing another quick reveal video on the Marvel Legends X-Men Animated Morph. If you're trying to get your Marvel Legends figures, you can do so. Such your feelings, you know it to be true. Dark Side Toys is a store for you. Link below. And while you're down there, I ask you to please hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. So yeah, I saw via Marvelous News today, we got brand new images of the Morph figure out of the box so far we've already seen this image of the vhs packaging for the animated morph and we were all excited about it i didn't talk about it yet on the channel or anything but you know here we go we actually have the figure and holy crap i am excited for it i was speculating whether they would go with the sunfire body mold or if they would go with the bucky cap mold but no they have not gone with either of those we are looking at the vulcan body being reused over here along with the Jim Lee Cyclops figure from the Triangle Love Triangle 3 pack being used for those arms and the jacket. So I'm kind of tripping off of this because I remember Hasbro saying that they developed the Vulcan body mold to replace the Bucky Cap mold. And I just looked at that as like, oh, okay, this is going to fit in that scale figure or that scale character will work well with that body moving into the future. But I didn't expect it to be made in a way where they could actually take parts that were used on the Bucky Cap mold and apply them to the new Vulcan body mold. And that makes me happy as hell because I think we've seen other parts getting used like this with the Bucky Cap mold, but they could apply changes in the future with the Vulcan body. So I'm really pleased with that. I'm also really happy with what they're doing with the legs over here. It looks like we're not getting the same old BS issue of the wraps around the legs. I think they've done something different here where those straps on the thighs are part of the upper thigh sculpt so maybe the upper thighs are new and different but i don't think we're getting the same kind of treatment for the leg straps as we'd seen with the jim lee cyclops figures in the past so that makes me very very happy uh, getting a closer look at it though uh the head sculpt looks really good to me he looks a little, he's got a little bit of a Leno chin, you know, that's kind of standing out to me, but it could just be the way it's posed and the camera angle because it is a low shot and I could see that head kind of tilting out from the body. So the chin is pointing at the camera. So I don't know if it's just the sculpt or if it's just the camera angle, but it does look a little heavy on the chin and I think it looks really good. I, I like it. I'm glad he's not full on smiling for this head sculpt because I don't know, you may want to have your morph getting slaughtered by a sentinel. Who knows? Spoiler alert, Robo hasn't seen it yet. Anyway, I'll see you at Star Wars Celebration, bro. Anyway, so <laughs> I had to throw in a jab. But anyway, uh, moving on and looking at the, the figure again in this pose right over here, uh, they gave him the alternate dark morph head sculpt. And this one does have a big... Uh, evil grin and i am happy to see that on here that that that's actually very suiting and i'm pleased that it's there uh it looks like we're getting interchangeable hands to go along with the figure too we got the two wide open hands right there and then you can see we have a fist hand on the left side so he's probably going to come with an even set of interchangeable hands uh and i really like this head sculpt i feel like they could have gone a little bit more over the top with the evil grin you know it's kind of a subtle evil grin but i still like it they have the dark eye shadow underneath the eyes uh, you can see the hair's a little bit more messy and everything so i i think that's cool so i'm very excited for this figure it's one that i've been wanting for a long time i'm surprised hasbro's taken so long to make this particular figure but i gotta say at this point in time you know I'm happy it's kind of taken a while because that way we're getting a better morph figure than what we could have gotten in the past, right? Like, I don't want to have a morph figure on the Bucky Cap mold. I don't necessarily, you know, long for the sun. Well, I mean, I like the Sunfire body mold. I, I'm not bummed out that if they'd gone with that, I would have been happy. But I'm happier that they've gone this direction. So it's even better than I that I had anticipated, as it seems right now at this point in time, because I don't have the figure in hand yet. But I definitely will at some point. I'm going to pre-order this thing for sure. I have a little story I want to share with you guys just really quick that this figure means a lot to me because I remember as a kid, I really wanted it. And I think I'd used up my allowance. And my mom told me that if I wanted to buy another figure, I had to go do some chores. So it was either washing a toilet or washing windows. I forgot which, 
But I ended up having to do some extra chores to go get the figure, and the figure meant a whole lot to me, and I was just really stoked to have it. It was just one of those uh, th those figures that I, I wanted so bad, and I remember just having that feeling, like, I'll do anything. I need the more figure. Like, oh, you got to do this. Oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to make it happen. So I ended up getting the figure. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully I get this one as well. We'll see. I'm definitely going to pre-order it. Pre-orders go live tomorrow at around 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And uh, they're going to retail for uh, uh, $568 a figure. Because that's where we are right now with the price points of Marvel Legends. So I'm still going to pre-order it. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And I will catch you guys later. And hopefully I'll see you at Star Wars Celebration. All right. Peace. Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.